I don't know what I'm doing in regard. Oh shit, that's the wrong color. <gasps> I took this color by mistake. Now I have to blend it out. Oh, four. Hello, my darlings. So, we're gonna do some makeup together today. And this is more than a perfect time to just chit chat, tell you a little bit more about me. So yeah, let's go ahead and jump right in. So many of you are requesting a makeup in the comments, so I'm gonna do it now. Um, this is basically, you know, helping me to have my hair out of my face. So let's just jump right in. I already prepped my face with my face cream, all that jazz, so I can just move on straight to the base. And we are gonna first use the Makeup Forever HD Skin Foundation. I wear the shade 2Y20. Yeah, it's like a nice, quite yellow of a shade, uh, but not too yellow. So, uh, I feel like I put a bombshell in one of my last videos when I said that, you know, um, I'm not doing the best and you know what, I'm not. <laughs> and I feel like everybody has that point in their lives when you just don't feel good about pretty much anything, to be honest. I don't feel good about my self, I don't feel good about my work, uh, I don't feel good about my relationship, actually relationships, because it also involves um, not only my you know romantic relationship, but also relationships with my loved ones. It's just not my time, you know what I mean? It's just not my time. And um, I don't feel like I have to address anything, to be honest. And you guys know, um, even though I am on social media and I do YouTube, I'm definitely more of a private person. And, uh, you know, it's very, very rare uh, when I feel like I want to speak out on something that's going on in my life. Uh, but I feel like I just want to chat with you about mental health, uh, about, you know, relationships in general, not only romantic ones, because believe it or not, those relationships that you have with your parents and uh, with people that you grow up with do affect any other relationship that you're going to have in the future immensely. And, um, you know, my mental health in general, I feel like... Um, if I share something with you, you might actually benefit from that or at least you are not gonna feel like you're alone because I don't think there's a worse feeling in life than just feeling like you're on your own with your emotions that are very hard to process. Uh, I haven't slept for a week straight. A week straight I couldn't sleep properly, so I definitely do need a corrector under my eyes. So I'm going to use this Charlotte Tilbury one. It's a very, very nice corrector. I actually use the Fair Shade. I probably should go ahead and buy myself um, the medium one as well. Uh, but you know what? It still kind of works, so I'm not too stressed about it. I'm just looking for a proper brush. Okay, there we go. So yeah, I'm just gonna uh, put a little bit on my fingers and just blend it in a little bit. And by the way, I know that I'm not like fully covered when it comes to foundation, but as it sets a little bit more, I'm gonna top it off with a stick foundation. Mm. I'm so gonna do a little bit of color correcting here. Because, yeah, even though I don't have pimples or anything at the moment, I don't feel like my uh, skin looks its best. Because, you know, lack of sleep will do it to you. Okay, so to not add on more fluid foundation, 
uh, because it will eventually look cakey. I mean, this one really doesn't, but uh, I'm going to just do some stick foundation as well. And I'm going to use the Huda Beauty stick one. It's so nice. And I wear the shade Macaroon. And I'm just going to drag it through those areas that basically need it the most. So like the center of the face and around the mouth area. And that's it basically. And I'm just gonna blend it. Maybe I'll take a clean brush and I'm just gonna nicely stipple it. So yeah, um, since we're talking mental health, uh, I've said quite a bit about it already, but I'm just gonna say it again. Um, I am definitely struggling with uh, anxiety since I was a child actually and of course that's due to my uh, childhood experiences uh, and I also really really struggle with depression tendencies I don't want to say I have like the worst depression of life at the moment but I definitely have a tendency to be very depressive um, since I was a kid I've always had very very dark thoughts um, I always been like believe it or not because you know I like pink <laughs> which is ridiculous that people will perceive you in a certain way by the colors you wear like how ridiculous is that right but we do that as humans but anyways um I've always been on that darker side I've never been like this you know super cheerful uh, happy kid I've always had my states you know I've been very mel melancholic and I've been pretty much going through life like this it's never ever changed I've always been a little bit more you know emotional I don't know if it that's the proper word but I, I hope you're getting what I'm saying it's just I'm never that super ultra crazy bubbly happy person I'm an introvert I like being alone um, and you know even though I can be very social it's not like I'm you know it's it's actually hard work for me to be very social I'm gonna use NARS in honey because uh, I really really want to counteract those dark circles guys because this is truly no joke and I'm definitely gonna leave it for a bit now and I'm gonna uh, you know have it set and then for um, brightening the face a little bit I'm gonna use canal and I don't even know what makeup we're going for I think we're gonna go for something not too much but like a little bit hazy maybe a little bit rosy i think that's that's a good one i i really like that kind of makeup and i have a new palette to play with so i want to share my thoughts on that with you as well so yeah oh so yeah guys uh in general winter is, autumn winter is definitely not the time for me when i'm super bubbly and happy and I also noticed that um, I've been really struggling to even work normally, even though I'm very, like, I have a very, uh, um, like, structured work ethic. You know what I mean? I, I know that uh, I work hard. I definitely am up in my game. But uh, for the couple of last months... It's been very very hard for me I'm not gonna lie it's it's not the best time for me also yeah I'm gonna address the relationship stuff as well so I'm really really struggling with my so-called parental relationships I feel like uh, as I get older and I got stronger within myself I actually go through uh, all the childhood traumas that I have been holding somewhere inside me and haven't been addressing them because I simply wasn't strong enough emotionally to go there 
and now I've been going there and it's not like I want to, it's like just I have to, you know what I mean? I just have to go for certain things um, to first heal myself because nobody's gonna heal me, I can only heal myself and second of all, I don't want to make the same mistakes that my parents did um, if I ever have a child. So, yeah, I've, I've been really, really go, going through it, through it, you know, like childhood trauma, abandonment issues. Um, on one hand, this is something that you don't want to be alone at, like you definitely would use some help, you know. And of course, therapy helps. Uh, which, you know, I'm definitely very much um, up for t therapy and um, I use ter therapy since I can remember. However, at the same time, uh, childhood trauma, you can only heal yourself. You're, you know what I mean? Um, you just have to go through it within yourself, with your soul. Uh, to make peace with certain things so that's what I've been going through it's really not easy if you guys have ever gone through such thing I'm sure you know what I mean uh, and on top of that I actually I don't know what the fuck I'm doing and I'm not talking about makeup I'm talking about my life I just I'm at the point of my life when I don't know what the hell I'm doing Honestly, I don't know. Whoa. <laughs> okay. Um, it's like, I don't know where I want to live. I don't know who I want to live with. Like, I don't know. Do I want to live alone for the rest of my life? What do I, what do I even want to do? You know what I mean? This is the point that I'm at. It's like, for the first time in my life, um, I feel quite stable-ish financially, um, you know, I'm, I'm fine, but at the same time I've never been so confused. <laughs> and, uh, you know, it's so hard because you might think like you do have a stable relationship <clears throat> that's loving and comforting and you want to do all those things together with your partner but um, at the same time I just feel like I can finally be free of everything and I don't have to count on anyone for the first time in my life and it's just confusing me it's just straight up confusing me because I've never had that by the way I'm using Fenty uh, Swedish uh, matchstick which is basically my contour for the day and it has such a nice color and I'm dragging it a little bit with what's left on that brush that I'm doing it for my eyes and this is giving me a little bit of the base and as you can see I did take uh, advice of people who are not the nicest in the comments uh, but um, I don't contour this part the top of my nose anymore because yes I did notice that this part of my nose is actually very thin and then you have that blob at the bottom, right? So <laughs> to counteract that and to make it look semi-okay for me, I just um, I just contour the, the bottom of the nose and I'm going to use a little bit of Makeup Revolution Eye Bright and this is in the shade Deep Caramel and I absolutely love it for actually I'm gonna even put a little bit more here I love it for contouring I love it for uh, bronzing the face it has an amazing shade range and also it blends so beautifully and it's so cheap like so cheap guys really skip on Charlotte Tilbury go with this it's so good so yeah now uh, I feel like I feel like my cheekbones are nice because you know see it's like so nicely blended it doesn't stand out much but at the same time I have a nice shape and of course the jawline 
so yes, this is where I'm at at the moment, guys. Um, I feel like I am failing at everything I touch. <laughs> Even though I do know it's not really true. But it, you know, it's just that inner feeling that you could do more and you should do more. Um, what the hell are you thinking? How can you not do this? How can you not do that? You're lazy. All that jazz is just dragging me in my head. I'm just basically dragging myself. Mm, which is not the best, I know. But I think that um, because of the way I was raised... And you know, it's not like I want to shit at my parents in this video. It's not the case. But the way I was raised, unfortunately, I had to always do everything perfect. You know, I had to have the perfect education, um, maybe not the scores, my parents never really, you know, fussed about school because I escaped school anyway. I, I would not be at school for half a year, half a semester sometimes. So I would just run away, so they gave up. But other than that, I had to be really like super perfect and on point. So yeah, it's just, you know, transferring into my adult life. And I, I'm just so confused. I'm so confused with myself. Even though I've never been more, like, secure and sure of who I am as a human being. What values I have and provide to the world. What my life rules are. I know all of that. I've been through all of that shit. But I still don't know... Uh, how to solve my relationships, how I should manage them. It's hard. Of course, again, therapy. But um, therapy will only help you, you know, as much as it can. And the rest of the work you just have to do yourself. So that's shitty. Especially if you're someone like me and, um, you know, you have some depression um, in your corner. Yeah, that's that's hard. And by the way, uh, I forgot to tell you, I'm wearing my new earrings. How beautiful are they? Let me actually get a focus on them. Okay, there we go. These are my new earrings from uh, She Said Yes Jewelry. And this is the box, absolutely gorgeous. I have a discount code for you guys, so check the description box. I am in love with their pieces because they're so timeless and uh, very good price-wise. So yeah, I just love them. So uh, check out the description below because you know, Christmas is coming and that would be a perfect gift for someone you love or yourself so yeah okay i think i've blended out the base uh actually i look quite lighter on my face but we're we're gonna don't worry we're gonna be fine so now i need to powder right so my powder of choice will be this Givenchy and this is the uh Voile Rosé number three powder and this one is absolutely incredible i love those Givenchy powders i have another color which is more like a peachy yellow but this one looks so incredible under your eyes and even all over your face it's just beautiful okay let me take like a nice um angled uh fluffy brush and I'm just gonna put some powder on it. I'm not using Beauty Blender today uh, because I just, for some reason, I really don't feel like Beauty Blender today. Uh, I'm just gonna roll with the brushes that I have, uh, which is quite new for me because I um, am so used to using Beauty Blender, but this time we're rolling with brushes and yeah so i'm first setting everything that's on my face because we're done with the creamy products and we're gonna move on to powder products so i'm just gonna set myself and this powder is very beautiful like 
it doesn't look like powder yet it mattifies and it's very long lasting as well just beautiful as a powder yeah so that is that of course I powder uh, in my brows because then all the products will set beautifully in there okay so we are done with the cream products now I'm gonna use my contouring bronzer just to you know top off all the work that we've done and this is from Natasha Denona and nobody talks about it and I don't know why because it's so flipping amazing I'm just gonna use the same brush that I used for my creams it's such a good brush though so also I'm going uh, with the eyes as well you know just so it all blends so beautifully together and you have no harsh lines. That's what I like in makeup. No harsh lines. Hate harsh lines. So yes, guys, um, according to what I just said to you about mental health, please le leave me a comment below. Please let me know uh, how you are dealing with your traumas because we all have them. We all have them. Uh, because, you know, I think since it is Christmas time now, uh, when there's something that's hurting you in your heart and in your soul, Christmas time can be very hard. Trust me, I know. Because I've spent years without my father. Um, I've spent years fighting with my mom. It's, it's you know, it's just life. And sometimes Christmas can be very, very difficult. So if you are going for something like that, I do understand you. Trust me. However, I must say that I have reconciled. Is that how you say it? I hope so. Uh, with my dad, after so many years, uh, this is actually going to be the first Christmas in, I think... 10 years maybe even more that I'm gonna spend with him so that is very interesting I've also uh, got in touch with my siblings because I have two younger sisters and all of us are from different mothers <laughs> so I'm, uh, I'm the daughter of my mom and dad so that that was his first marriage then he had a girlfriend so to speak uh, that he left my mom for and he has a daughter with her and she's 12 and I love her she's actually coming this Saturday um, to have a sleepover at my place so maybe we will even do something together and you will be able to meet her um, so yeah, we'll see, but, uh, there is another sister who's two years old and my dad is 56 and that's his second marriage. Um, and the lady that, um, is his wife now, she's also a doctor, uh, also a gynecologist, that's how they met and, uh, she's almost my age. So, you know, uh. <sighs> people have different choices in life and that's okay as long as they do not hurt anyone um, going for what they want, right? So, okay, we've got the foundation, we've got the powder. I put a little bit of this Laura Mercier powder foundation just to unify the lines between the bronzer and the powder so I feel like we are looking pretty good don't you think there's still a little bit of glow coming through which I really like because I know I'm set but I'm looking natural so that's lovely so now we definitely need some blush and it's too late for a cream blush um, I mean you could try but you know I'd, I'd rather avoid that because if if shit goes down, I don't want to have it filmed. <laughs> so I'm just going to use maybe this Clinique brush in Pink Pop. It's actually a very nice uh, blush. 
and again not really hyped and I'm putting my blush very high up like really really high up um, and you know you can put more blush on your face in the beginning because blushes fade so quickly that's why um, and I also do uh, put blush over my lid as well because you see like everything is so um, unified now and everything just matches and it's intertwined and also a little bit on my nose you know just to give this um, sun-kissed blushy glow to the whole face not just the cheeks so yes so yeah guys I actually have quite a long life story because I'm already 30 and you know um, unfortunately I mean I've learned so much from what I've been through uh, but at the same time, all the things I've been through, I could share with at least five people. I mean, experience-wise. Like, I, I didn't need that much. You know what I mean? <laughs> but yeah, this is life and I guess I was ready for it coming into this life. Okay, I don't have my brows done yet. Um, so maybe I should do my brows and I will come back to you with this gorgeous rosy Patrick Tar palette so yeah let me do the brows off camera uh, just so we don't fuss with it and I'll come back to you okay our brows are done nicely brushed uh, again I'm trying to make my brows not as dark because I keep on getting comments but guys I have dark brows to begin with so obviously when I put something on them which I do like the look of it's gonna get darker but anyways we are now gonna move on to this and I haven't used it yet look it's completely new how gorgeous so this is this uh, major dimension 2 the rosy one and I'm actually gonna start with the same brush I used um, for my nose and stuff and I'm gonna dip into that second matte shade and we're basically gonna do like this beautiful hazy rose eye and you know how I like to do it I like when the eye is not too perfect you know I don't like those harsh lines like here's where the eyeshadow ends and starts and here's the highlight you know what I mean I like everything blended so I'm tr always trying to do it as much as I can with my abilities so yeah so now, addressing my relationship, and you know, I'm not going to say much, because obviously um, it's not just me involved, but uh, the, past, uh, the past two years, actually, have been very, very stressful for both of us. Um, me at work, him at work. Uh, our uh, family relationships on his side and my side everything we've been basically going through so much for the past two years um it would be enough for 10 years you know what i mean uh so i just feel like so much stress and so much anxiety from both sides even though my partner um is way more uh, subtle about it than me he's definitely more calm of a person and he I mean, he also keeps a lot um, to himself, let's be honest. So, you know, that stress from both sides that we had and so many issues to deal with together, but still, uh, I think it really took a toll on both of us. And um, I'm going to try this cream shadow, the, the lighter one. I don't know how it's going to look, but... Oh, wow. Oh, it's so pretty oh damn okay so yeah I, it just took a, a bit of a toll on us and um, I think we both have to pretty much figure out what we want in life who we want in our lives you know what I mean it's just not easy to be an adult basically and um, you know since we're not the youngest I mean we're very young both of us but you know mm, I am in my 30s already 
And, uh, you know, there are decisions to be made that will affect your whole life. So, you know, it's it's very, very stressful. And I think we just we just got a little bit too much from life uh, than we can handle in one moment. You know what I mean? I'm not saying that, um, you know, who knows, maybe we will be together forever or not. Who, who knows, you know? Uh, look at J-Lo. She's with Ben now. Um, but at the same time, I think... Um, I think it's it's been just too much in too short of a period of time for both of us. So uh, we are separate now. He's in South Africa and I am in Europe. And I'm going to spend my Christmas here. And he's going to spend Christmas... Uh, with his family and uh, I think this is gonna do us very good you know we're gonna calm down a little bit um, we're not gonna see each other so I'm basically going all over with this shade to you know just blend the edges on the top and at the bottom I'm just doing like a little circle with this nothing nothing else here um, so yeah, that, that, that's, that's where we at basically. Um, of course, you know, he loves me very much, uh, and I know that, and it does give me a lot of hope for future. Um, and we'll see, we'll, we'll just see, but you know, honestly guys, I have been through so many relationships, and I have been broken, like really, really, truly broken a couple of times. And if you go through something that you feel like dying, your body is dying, your heart is dying, everything is dying. When you go through it, and not only once, then you just get numb. You just get numb to many things in life, you know what I mean? And I feel like, um, I feel like I am even too numb. You know what I mean? Um, I wish I could actually feel more than I'm feeling. Because I, at the moment I don't know what I'm feeling. And it's weird to not know what you're actually feeling. It's like I, even though, you know, I'm very spiritual and I'm very in tune with myself. In this department, I struggle at the moment. I just don't know anything. Great pep talk, hey? I don't know anything, so yeah, <laughs> figure yourself out. But no, truly, guys, I'm just, I'm just sharing with you my own confusion about everything. Because I think it's the first time in my life where I can just sit back, maybe not relax, but sit back, that's enough. I can sit back and just think and not push forward like a maniac to just get to something. I'm very happy with my job. I'm very happy with what I'm doing at the moment. Uh, however, yeah, I, I, I don't know what I'm doing in regard... Oh shit, that's the wrong color. <gasps> I took this color by mistake. Now I have to blend it out. Oh, four. Oh, it actually blends like a dream. Damn. Oh, wow. Actually, guys... I might do the same on the other eye. Let's let's get into that rosiness. Why not? It's beautiful. Oh my god, guys. I have hesitated for so long to get this palette, but let me tell you, it's beautiful. Like this is a dream of a palette. Oh my goodness. It is incredibly gorgeous. Just incredibly gorgeous. And basically, I'm going all matte today. I think <laughs> I don't know how we're gonna end up but I think I'm gonna go all matte today and let those rosy tones just bloom on my eye because they're gorgeous oh my gosh I love it and the the cream shade look at how beautiful it looks it's like and it sets so beautifully with those eyeshadows like I must say Patrick Ta 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 did 
amazing job with this this is incredible now i'm just gonna do the same thing i'm gonna i'm just gonna blend everything out with this light shade like all over so i have this nice haze effect and that will be it probably here i need more of an edge to the eye comparing to this i think let me see i think we're good right I think we're fine. Gosh, I love these eyeshadows. I managed to get this for Black Friday sale on Cult Beauty. And I couldn't be happier. I just couldn't be happier. They're amazing. Uh, really, guys, if you've been hesitating on getting this palette, don't hesitate anymore. Look how beautiful it is. Wow. Wow, love it. All right, I need some, I need something on my lashes actually because I'm shedding like crazy um, with my ex extensions. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of mascara on top and bottom. This is just Lash Paradise, nothing crazy here. Um, so yeah guys, you see like everyone is going through something it's not like, you know, something bad happened or anything. It's not like we're over, over. We, we're just figuring things out at the moment. We're just figuring things out. And, you know, um, we both have so much respect towards each other uh, that I don't think... Um, I don't think anyone would ever had uh, bad intentions towards uh, the other person. You know what I mean? There's a lot of love between us. And I guess that's what matters. But this I'm going to remove. Don't worry. As it dries, I'm just going to scrub it off with a, uh eyelash brush. Because my lashes are extensions. So they're long. And it's inevitable that, you know, I always have some mascara when I do it. So that's that. And a little bit on the lower lash lines. But guys, this palette is something else. Truly. I love it. Wow. Let me actually get you closer. Like, guys. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. I love it beautiful let me remove that bullshit that i did so I, I basically just take a spoolie and scrub it off by the way again if you're hearing my neighbors i'm very sorry these are very naughty neighbors so i'm out of luck here and like we we are only neighbors with one wall to them and they're so noisy actually what whoa <laughs> are we good i think we are oh shit i'm using a new tripod and i'm not that used to it yet you know what i mean i think i'm not even are we even now i hope so okay so, uh, I think what I'm going to do is uh, use a little bit of the sculpting powder that I used and uh, blend it onto the eye as well because, um, you know, I want to make it all very blended together. So we need a little bit of brown here, I suppose. Yeah. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. I love it. I really, really love this palette. And to think that I didn't use any of those glitters says a lot. Because, you know, I love my gold and glitter. Okay, let me use a little bit. Just here. Just at the... Oh my gosh. Wow. Wow. Oh, I used this one. I'm going to use the gold in the corner. Actually, I need a brush for it, unfortunately. And it's gonna be not the easiest thing, I guess, because 
you need something good to pick it up but okay there we go oh wow this is beautiful don't you think absolutely beautiful all right so guys i would really like you to think about your life and share with me what you're struggling with how is your christmas this year looking like are you happy about christmas are you not are you struggling with something i would love to know not to you know <laughs> have a nice gossip or something no 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 i just want you to chat with me a little bit more about you know proper topics not just stupid fragrances because this is not what life is about after all so i would love you if you can share with me um what you're thinking how you're feeling uh, because that's very very important okay now lips my favorite part oh actually highlighter now highlighter i'm gonna use this from Lorac the gilded lily one because every time i use it i get so many compliments from you so thank you i love it i love this highlighter so i don't know what i'm gonna use maybe like a maybe actually like a denser brush and i'm just gonna pick it up and oh yeah guys oh this is angelic isn't it absolutely angelic oh yes oh yes mm -hmm. glorious glorious absolutely beautiful a little bit here like i like to put at the bottom of my nose like and you know not here like here at the bottom and it lifts my nose up a little bit so that's what i'm doing and yeah, now we can move on to the lips. And for lips, I of course, I'm going to use maybe this new Natasha Denona liner. It is the Natasha one, color Natasha. I just sharpened it. And let me just go with my natural lip shape. I mean, natural lip shape, because of course I have a filler now. Uh, and I honestly do not intend to remove it. I, I love it. I love it. I've always had big lips. And since I was a little girl, I've always wanted them even bigger. So now I finally have it. I'm not doing any harm to myself or anyone else. Uh, so I'm going to keep doing it. And I love it. And I don't care what people think. Honestly, there we go. So that is the liner and maybe we should do a little bit of uh, lipstick, don't you think? Maybe I'm gonna go with my Huda lipstick and we're gonna, since we're so rosy and angelic, I'm gonna go with Angel, the, the battery lipstick. Oh yeah. Whew. Okay guys, so what do you think? This is the finished look. Of course, I'm gonna do my hair now, um, but I think for now uh, we are good. I really like it. I really, really love this new palette. It's amazing. And combined with this Lorac highlight, they even match together by the packaging. This is just perfect, perfection. So everything I used will be linked below guys, uh, along with those beautiful She Said Yes earrings. I have a discount code for you. They're absolutely beautiful. So yes, perfect gift for yourself or your loved one. These are in, in particular so beautiful and so, they're very unique, but at the same time, they're so classy and timeless. I love that. So yeah, uh, check out She Said Yes. And other than that, again, let's start uh, the mental health discussion down below in the comments. I'll be definitely active there. Um, you know, 
I really do not like being so like openly um, open and um, vulnerable in social media because I treat it more as a job but at the same time you guys are my friends so many of you are my real friends and you know I think this platform that I have now uh, should be used for something a little bit wiser uh, than just fragrances and beauty and luxury because you know this is not life discussions like this are life so yeah I would love you to join me tell me what you're feeling and see you tomorrow bye I love you